lot of people use the term going natural, but you don't go natural. You're born that way. <laughs> and it's, it's bad that we get discriminated against because of the way our hair grows out of our head. I've had people ask me, what is that in your head? Is it real? Where, is it real? Where do you buy the hair? And I'm thinking, okay, and I have to tell them, no, I didn't buy the hair. This is my hair. This grew out of my scalp. <laughs> And I don't know what's so threatening about us and our hair texture to other cultures. Um, it's beautiful, whether it's curly or locked or coily or in a ponytail or, you know, with braids. And it's something that we've been doing since the beginning of time. It's just a natural expression and extension of who we are. But as soon as we decide not to straighten our hair anymore, for some reason it becomes threatening to some people. So. To have legislation that says that we can't be discriminated based on our hair, I think it help a lot of people in a lot of different areas and jobs. I have clients that come in and they want to do different things with their hair and they are be like, no, but I can't do that because my job won't let me. You have young girls today that are just now coming into them themselves because their parents are teaching them that they are beautiful the way they are because so many people have instilled in the mindset that it's ugly. You're ugly. Your hair is ugly. Um, in the workplace, even. Like she stated earlier, it's considered unprofessional for an African-American woman to wear her natural hair that she's born with. My mother and my grandmother, um, they had a personal stylist when I was growing up. Her name was Miss Hazel. And I remember going to her as a little girl and getting my hair straightened with a straightening comb. She had a shop in Haiti. Um, in Durham before they tore it down when a lot of black um, people had businesses there and then um, from there um, We started getting relaxers. It made it more manageable, but it, my hair never stayed healthy hardly when I had um, a Relaxer it would grow to a certain point and then it would begin to break. It wasn't until I was in my 30s that I allowed my natural hair to grow in without getting a relaxer. And then I locked it. And I had locks for 10 years. I just cut my locks January 5th, May, two years ago. Um, and they, at the end, they were long down my back and they were red as this chair. So I grew into my own pretty quickly. When I was able to express myself, I went full in. So um, I couldn't imagine now going back to a relaxer. My daughters aren't, um, Relax. My baby, my oldest daughter has had a relaxer, but she has sister locks now. My baby girl has never had chemicals in her hair, um, and I couldn't imagine um, raising another generation getting relaxers. I mean, if they decide, if she decides to straighten her hair later on in life, that'll be a choice that she makes. But it's nothing that I make her feel like she has to do.